Hey, welcome to Pozo. Um, this was probably the windiest year that I've ever sailed here. I think it was the 17th year that I've been here and I've never been so overpowered in my life. Gran Canaria Wind and Waves Festival. It's crazy, but it seems like every year it gets windier. And this year was definitely, for me, one of the, the, the hardest conditions we've competed in. But at the same time, I think I performed really well. I spent five weeks here in Gran Canaria training in these conditions. But I also progressed during the contest. Like I started to do better quick push loops, stalled forwards and everything. That's also because the competition is really tight. Like all the girls, the level has gone um, really up. I got to sail against Daido Moreno twice, so it makes me do better. So in the end, I finished in second place. I finished third in the single elimination, and then in the double elimination, I managed to fight the second place. So for me, it's really uh, the cherry on top for this week and for, for all the effort I put into training here in Gran Canaria. So now the PWA and pose is over, and I have to say, it was such a well-organized and windy event. And yeah, I'm like really happy with my results in the U20 category. And yeah, like unfortunately in my last heat I sprained my leg, but it's getting a lot better. So let's see if I can compete in the upcoming events. This year in Pozo we got really good conditions. I got a wildcard for the pro event, so I could compete for my first time there. And it was a good experience, although I didn't make it through any heat. I got a really close heat against Florian Jung. I lost by less than a point, but I'm really happy with how I sailed. And in the juniors, we got good conditions and I managed to go to the final and to win. So I'm really happy with how I sailed and how the event was organized. Well, I didn't get my place uh, with the seniors event, but I was lucky enough to compete with the under 20 boys. And I did a really good heat. My first one ended up first with good jumps and good waves. And once I was in the uh, semi-final, didn't get quite the ramps and the waves and almost ended up in the rocks. So 
didn't go as planned, but I'm happy with my riding and ended up sixth, so that's pretty okay for me. I had some of my best heats that I've sailed, I think, here in Pozo. I was pretty happy with my wave riding, happy with my jumping. I had one of the best um, jump scores of the event with a push loop forward. So I was happy to, to do the things I've worked on and to pull some of them off in the heats. Amazing conditions this year. Um, pretty good waves, strong wind and um, yeah, basically a full week of competition of great action. This year we had an amazing competition in Pozzo, like the wind was uh, awesome. I sail almost in 3-3 every day with my smallest uh, GP as a 75. Uh, the gear was working uh, crazy. I had really good heat, like with really nice double and really nice uh, 360 in the wave and wave riding. Uh, now I look forward to, to the next event in Tenerife and I will do my best again. And see you there. Well, another year in Pozo, another windy week. That was probably one of the windiest week uh, we ever had in uh, Gran Canaria. That was definitely cool. I mean, sailing on 3-3, like fully overpowered, it was something like amazing to do, you know. I'm quite stuck with my sailing, I'm quite unhappy with my result. I finished 13th and I was looking for a top 10. And I think I'm a little bit disappointed because uh, I was like super confident on my sailing. And well, it didn't happen, so we're gonna skip this event and hopefully looking for a better event in uh, Tenerife. So yeah, I'm just looking forward for Tenerife. I see you there. Watch out.